Welcome to Understand the Math. In the video description, you'll find a link to guided notes that can be downloaded and filled in as you follow along with the video. In this video, I'm going to quickly review the definition of a degree and a radian, explain how to convert from degrees to radians, and then from radians to degrees, and also complete some example problems on converting from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a degree in a radian. Degrees in radians are units used to measure angles. Here's how we define a degree. In this triangle, we're going to label our angle theta as one degree, and then we'll label the arc that corresponds to it as one over 360 of a circle. So one degree, we'll go ahead and highlight that, is the measure of the angle whose corresponding arc in a circle is 1 over 360 of the circumference of the circle. Here's how we define a radian. If theta, our angle, is equal to 1 radian, then we say that its corresponding arc is the radius of the circle. And we can denote each of these as letter R, and then the initial ray is R, and then the terminal ray is R because our angle is tracing out a circle. So we now define one radian, which we'll again highlight like we did for a degree. One radian is the measure of the angle whose corresponding arc in a circle is equal to the radius of the circle. Let's now talk about when we would use degrees and when we would use radians. In general, degrees are useful for measuring angles, such as you would do if you're working in navigation Radians are useful for relating linear and angular measurement, as you might do if you're calculating the speed and distance traveled by a satellite. We're now going to learn how to convert between degrees and radians. Let's begin by recalling that there are 360 degrees or 2 pi radians in a circle. If we fill in the points, our first point on the right-hand side is 0 degrees. Our second point at the top is 90 degrees, or pi over 2. On the left-hand side, we have 180 degrees, or pi, radians. And then at the bottom, we have 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2 radians. And then the right-hand side can then again be called 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. To find a way to convert between degrees and radians, we're going to use the fact that 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. So let's go ahead and let's highlight that because that will help you remember how to convert from degrees to radians. So that's where we're going to start. So if 360 degrees is 2 pi radians, we can divide both sides of the equation by 360, so we can get that 1 degree is 2 pi over 360 radians. 
And if we simplify the right-hand side, that gives us that one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. I know students often wonder, where does that formula come from? Well, that's where it comes from. So let's go ahead and fill in our box. So one degree is pi over 180 radians. We'll abbreviate that by RAD. And then to convert from degrees to radians, we have to multiply by pi over 180. Now let's look at how to convert from radians to degrees. We'll start with the same thing, except now we're going to flip the sides. So we have that 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and highlight that. That's our starting point. And then just like we did in the converting from degrees to radians, um, instead of dividing by 360, now we're going to divide by 2 pi. So we end up dividing both sides of this equation by 2 pi. So we have 1 radian is equal to 360 degrees divided by 2 pi. And 2 goes into 360 um, 180 times. So this becomes 180 degrees divided by pi. So let's that put that in our box here. So 1 radian is 180 degrees divided by pi. And then to convert from radians to degrees, what we have to do is we have to multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. These two boxes with stars are worth memorizing. In this last section, we'll look at some examples of converting between degrees and radians. The first one that we're going to look at is we're going to convert each angle from degrees to radians. So let's write that down. And then before we begin, let's write down what it is that we're actually going to have to do to make this conversion. So we learned on the previous page that we're going to have to multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Okay, so let's start with our first one, 90 degrees. So we write down 90 degrees, and then we multiply that by pi over 180 degrees. And then 90 goes into 180 two times, so that leaves us with pi over 2. It's always a good idea to box your answers, too. It really helps you go back and make sure that you can find your answer. And you might notice that this agrees with the circle that we wrote on the previous page, that 90 degrees is the same as pi over 2. Okay, our second one is 30 degrees, so we write down 30 degrees. Multiply by pi over 180 degrees. And then 30 goes into 186 times. So our answer is pi over 6. The third one is 135 degrees. So we have 135 degrees, pi over 180 degrees. And now we're going to have to think a little bit. Um, let's see. The numerator and denominator are both multiples of 5. So if we divide 5 into each of those, 5 goes into 135 uh, 27 times. So 27 times pi, and then 5 goes into 180 36 times. So that's 36. And then we can see that both of those numbers are multiples of 9. So we end up with an answer of 3 pi over 4. 
And then our last one is minus 120 degrees. So we write down minus 120 degrees. Multiply by pi over 180 degrees. And then we'll notice that both 120 and 180 are divisible by 60. So we end up with minus 2 pi 60 to goes into 180 three times, so minus 2 pi over 3. For number 2, we're going to convert from radians to degrees. So let's again write down what we need to do. So to convert from radians to degrees, we have to multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. Okay, so let's do that. We'll start with pi over 4, and then we'll multiply by 180 degrees over pi. You'll notice that the pi's are going to cancel out, and we'll end up with 180 degrees divided by 4. And 4 goes into 180 45 times, so we end up with 45 degrees. And this makes sense because pi over 4 um, is halfway between 0 and pi over 2. And we know that pi over 2 is 90 degrees, so it makes sense that this is 45 degrees. Our next one is 3 pi over 2. So we take 3 pi over 2, multiply by 180 degrees over pi. The pi's will cancel, so we end up with 3 times 180 all divided by 2. 2 goes into 180 90 times, so we have 3 times 90, which leaves us with 270 degrees. We'll box that answer, and I just realized I didn't box the 45, so let's go back and let's box that. So our last one is minus 2 pi over 3. So we have minus 2 pi over 3. Multiply by 180 degrees over pi. And the pi's will cancel, so we have minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 3. 3 goes into 180 60 times. 60 times 2 is 120, so we have minus 120 degrees. I would suggest that you go back and you rework these problems on your own. Mathematics is best learned by doing a lot of practice problems on your own and not just watching someone else do the problems. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Keep believing in yourself and have a great rest of your day.